WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 333 points, 1 percent. S&P, 1 2 tenths percent, or 51 points. NASDAQ, 1 and a half percent, 215. Russell's down 1 and 8 tenths, 36, 2.7 percent. For the semis, are off 90 points. You've got gold trading up 32 bucks. 1968 is the print. It's going to move to all-time highs. We're at new all-time highs in terms of gold, in terms of uh, euros and pounds out there. Uh, so we'll be able to make, or gold should be able to make that all-time high in terms of U.S. dollars as well. Silver's up 60 cents, trading at 25.81. Lights recruit up six bucks right now. That is $5.66 to the upside. Natural gas up uh, 28 pennies, trading out at $5 and change. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, index ETS, we did this. I'll do it real quickly here. Uh, at the one o'clock uh, break, we can see that each, well, not each, the spies, the diamonds, and the Russell 2000, oh, the Russell 2000 just slipped below the swing point from uh, the 28th out there. They're testing that with much lighter volume. But if you close inside that swing point, it can open up the door to head lower. Let's go switch over to our indice charts out here. And let's go take a look at their oscillator and change line because that also is another key level. The Dow Jones, it is below the oscillator and change line. If it closes inside, the high just has to get below the high of that uh, uh, the 28th swing point out there, that's going to suggest we go back and test those lows. The same thing with regard to the S&P 500 needs a combination of closing below the oscillator and change line. That's the red line, which is trading below right now and inside of that swing point. The NDX 100 is doing that right now. So unless the, SD, unless the NDX 100 finds its mojo, it's suggesting that it wants to go down and test those lows. Now, the DAX and the NASDAQ composite really kind of emulate each other. And the NASDAQ composite ha or the DAX has taken out its January 28th lows out there. So that may be a forewarning or signal uh, what, to, what is to come next week. The Russell 2000 is just sitting on that oscillator and change line with the same setup there. The semiconductors, they're well below the oscillator and change line, well into that bar. Very likely to go test the uh, lows from the uh, end of February. The transports, they're in a world of their own out here. And the XAU, which is over the very right-hand panel, uh, it looks like it wants to continue to fire. No topping signal out there, only in bar number six of a TD9 count. So, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you next week on. Take care.